15 years ago I was young. I don't know how old I was because I can't do math. I was five. I remember now. I remember now. I was five. And my mom didn't die. And I didn't know about the Flash. But now I do. And so will you. And I'm unemployed. And I kind of wish I got struck by lightning. And got super speed and... Yeah, my mom would have died, but, you know, I mean, I would have been the Flash, so it would have been okay, I guess. <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyways, hi, it's War from DOS 4 Horsemen, because that, that's the only war that I know, and I hope that you know. So, let me talk about The Flash, Season 2 finale. Before I do, spoiler warning, so you should watch that episode. Anyways, watch that episode. Okay. Before I talk about the episode, I want to talk about the rundown of what's happened so far. So, The Flash. As you all know, 15 years ago, as he always says in every episode, except for season 2, because I guess you should know his origin story by now. But if you haven't, 15 years ago, The Flash. His mom died, and then he became a scientist. But not that quick. But, <laughs> but then he got struck by lightning. And the particle accelerator turned him into the Quickster. No, he turned him into the Flash. And Harrison Wells. I'm sorry that I'm laughing. Oh, that darn Joker. <laughs> Anyways, oh, Harrison Wells created that incident. But he's not really Harrison Wells. He's really... I was gonna say Mermaid Man. He's really because I got SpongeBob in my head now. He's really Reverse Flash. He's really Reverse Flash, and he showed him how to be fast because Reverse Flash is stuck in our timeline or their timeline in the show. So now for season one, the Flash must become fast, become as fast as he can, and ha save the Reverse Flash and make him go back to his timeline. Because if he doesn't, the Reverse Flash will kill everyone he loves. But he didn't, because he died. That was Season 1. Season 2, based on what happened on Season 1, a portal time dimension thing happened, and now Earth 2 and Earth 1 are connected. Sort of like how balls and dicks are connected. I don't know, I wanted to throw something out there to keep you interested. Anyways... Zoom comes into the equation. Zoom is another speedster who is the opposite of the Flash because he wears all black. I don't know why. Because black's cool. Anyways, Zoom is in season two. Flash goes up against Zoom. Flash is now trying to become faster. Jay Garrick's involved to help Flash become fast. And there's a lot of trust issues throughout this whole entire thing. Flash couldn't trust Harrison Wells in season one. So should Flash trust Jay Garrick? Well, he shouldn't, because that's actually Zoom. So, yeah. Flash, Zoom. They fight. They kiss. They love. <laughs> Central City Mountain. It's like Brookback Mountain, but for Flash. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that didn't happen. Oh, well, maybe it did on fanfiction on Tumblr. You know how they are. <laughs> Anyways. A lot of Earth 2. A lot of doppelgangers, actually. Long story short. Flash and Zoom... No, you know, Flash knows who Zoom is. Zoom, oh, he's been knowing who Flash is. I mean, seriously, that's like everyone knows who Flash is. It's like, oh, hey, I'm Barry Allen. I'm Flash. Fuck. I mean, I'm not the Flash. Um, let me tell you about the episode, the rundown of the episode. You already know about season one and two now, thanks to me and my perfectly executed uh, narration of what happened with no errors whatsoever. Okay, so what happens in this episode? Well... After the repercussions of last episode where Zoom kills Henry Allen, Flash's dad, who got set free about, like, a week ago? No, about a year ago. And, you know, he was in jail for most of his life, and he never got to see his son grow up. And now that, his, now that he finally decides, hey, I'm gonna see you grow up, son, I love you, he died. So, that kinda sucks. So, after that, uh, one Barry Allen goes after Zoom quick. He's like, I'm gonna kill you, because you killed my dad. So, you're done, goofed up. Zoom. Doesn't kill him. Um, 
The Flash tells his, his merry group of friends, Zoom gave me an ultimatum. He says, we have to race against each other or else he's going to kill all of you. I'm going to race him because I could beat him. And instead of trusting Flash, they were like, no, nah, we don't trust you. We're going to pick our plan. So they kind of tranquilize him. And by kind, I mean they shoot him with a tranquilizer gun. And he, knocked, he gets knocked out. He gets put in a cell. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, Star Labs has its own prison for metahumans and now flash is in it to prevent flash from racing zoom why do they want zoom and flash not to race well because there's a weapon that could destroy and wipe out all the universes but earth one which is where flash lives and zoom now i guess so instead they make up a plan where you're going to use caitlin uh, snow not snow but caitlin snow who's a love interest to zoom and by love interest i mean have you ever met some guy who's like really obsessed with a girl and he thinks that they're going out, but they're not really. Sort of like how Death uh, is really obsessed with Janae Aiko, and like that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, have you seen Janae Aiko? Whoo! <laughs> and have you seen Death? Damn! Oh man, if you guys don't know who Death is, <laughs> don't worry about it. No one does. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like that. That's how Zoom is. Zoom is obsessed with Caitlyn Snow. I'm talking about like he has a shrine of Caitlyn Snow in his closet or something. So they use Caitlyn Snow to try to get Zoom to get distracted. And it works, but Zoom is uh, one bad mf -er. Yeah, like Samuel L. Jackson, only he's not black. But he's voiced by a black man, Tony Todd. He kills Caitlyn Snow, or the hologram. He thought he was going to kill Caitlyn Snow. So yeah, he, he would kill his love interest because she said no to him. So what ends up happening after that is... They cap. They make Zoom go back to Earth Two because there's all the breaches have been closed. So there's no way for Zoom to go into Earth One, but he finds a way, I think, or they open up a breach for him. Um, but he, as soon as he goes into Earth Two, he takes in Joe West, the detective who was Barry Allen's parent when Henry Allen was in jail for a long time. So it's like, yo, that's my father figure. You killed my real dad, and now you're taking my my what I would consider stepdad away from me so wally west who is also the son of joe west rescues barry and he lets him out of his cage which is weird barry in prison and barry comes out and he's like yo guys what what the hell like i'm, I'm the flash you 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 guys thought you can go up against zoom did you see what happened when i went up against zoom i got crushed what do you think you guys are gonna do so now zoom and flash have to race and they're trying to think of a way if there's any way around it but guess what there isn't so they race. And it's Flash against Zoom. Speedster versus Speedster. Day versus Night! God for- No, I'm just- I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, so, <laughs> they face off. They do a, a speed battle. I always wanted to see Speedster versus Speedster, and I never really got that. In Season 1, you never really got, you know, Reverse Flash against Flash in a speed race. But in Season 2, you do. And it's not as big as one would imagine. It's not like, let's race all around the world. It's more like, let's race around your contraption to fire up your weapon that's going to kill every single universe but ours. Flash splits into two because he gets he gets a past version of himself to come and help him out. So he does a he, get, he uses a time remnant, and that time remnant does this little race around the weapon, which creates, I believe it's a, a vortex or some kind of thing that counteracts the weapon that's being fired up, and it explodes, and he dies in the process, which you would think, that would mean Flash also dies, but I don't know why he doesn't. I'm not sure how that works. Time traveling is very weird and very confusing. So now it's Flash against Zoom. The Flash that didn't die against Zoom. And they fight and Flash wins because he's Flash. And this is the season finale, so he has to win. <laughs> and then the time rates come. For those of you who don't know who the time rates are... They're essentially the Speed Force's bodyguards that are like, yo, hey, yeah, you disobeyed a rule of the Speed Force because we have rules. We're not going to let you get away with that. And unlike cops, well, unlike certain cops who follow the rules, it's like, oh, we're going to take you to jail. The time racers are like, oh, hey, you're going to die. So they take Zoom <laughs> away and Barry ripped uh, a piece of Zoom's mask off, which makes Zoom's mask look more like Barry's now. The way Barry and Reverse Flash have their mask and their costume set up, that's the way Zoom's mask is now presented. And in doing so, you see this image, you see Zoom, first his face start, starts to decay, and then you see his emblem that's all black, go white and red, 
and I'm pretty sure that's an Easter egg for Black Flash. Black Flash is is the Grim Reaper. He is death for all the speedsters because you know you 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 can't outrun death, and I guess they took that literally with Black Flash. And in the comics, in the Blackest Night, Black Flash is Zoom. So just a little side note for you guys. They take him away. He's gone. That's resolved. After that, they kind of have like a celebratory, hey, we won, but our friend died also. Small get-together with the whole entire gang, Wally West, Iris West, Joe West, Cisco and Ramon, or not Cisco and Ramon, that's one person, oh my god, <laughs> Ramon and Caitlin, and obviously Barry. Barry goes outside because, you know, he saw his dad died, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to, you know, watch the news or do anything at all. And Iris goes outside, talks to Barry, she, talk, she tells him how I've waited... It's, you waited so long for me, now I'm gonna wait so long for you. They share an intimate kiss. This, by the way, Iris and, and Barry's relationship has been building up, and it's been building up in a pretty organic way. They kiss. After she leaves and goes inside the house, Barry says something along the lines of, I'm so sorry, but I have to do this. For the audience, and you know, for himself I guess. And he goes back in time to stop the murder from happening, stop the murder of his mother from happening. He stops it, he stops Reverse Flash, and doing so, in season one, season one finale, you see, an, uh, you see a part, a scene, where when Flash is going in time to do the exact same thing he did this time, he actually gets stopped by his future self. But this time, he does it. This time he actually saves his mom, and he looks uh, back at, I guess, the other future Flash, and that future Flash fades away, and then it just, he shares a moment with his mom saying, don't worry, you, you're you fine, I won't hurt you, no one will hurt you, you're, you're fine, and then it just cuts to black, and that's the episode. One, I loved it. I love the episode. I love the Flash, and I love what the writers have been doing and what they've been bringing. It's, it's great. It's phenomenal. Uh, small things I want to talk about would be uh, the introduction of Black Flash. I'm pretty sure we're going to see that in Season 3. The fight was great. The way they resolved Zoom, I thought it was great. I can't think of another way to resolve it. I mean, I'm glad they didn't kill him off right away. Yes, the time rates are probably going to kill him, but you don't really see that happening, so there's a good small chance he might still be alive and become the Black Flash. Also, because of this whole entire thing, I believe that the Flashpoint Paradox is going to happen. If you don't know what the Flashpoint Paradox is, it's a story arc where the Flash does exactly what he did here in Season 2. He saves his mom. But if you've ever seen the butterfly effect or know what the butterfly effect is, it's basically if you go back in time and change a certain event, it's going to have a ripple effect throughout the future, throughout the whole entire world. So if this does happen, the Flashpoint Paradox, in Season 3, I'm pretty sure we're going to see different things. Maybe instead of Oliver Queen as the Green Arrow, if you guys don't know this, Flash, Arrow... Legends of Tomorrow and now Supergirl all exist in the same universe. If the Flashpoint Paradox happens, I feel like maybe we won't see Oliver Queen as Green Arrow. Maybe we'll see Robert Queen, his father, as Green Arrow. The same way in the comics when the Flashpoint Paradox happened, Bruce Wayne wasn't Batman after the Flash went back in his time, after, you know, he messed up the timeline. It was actually his father, Thomas Wayne. So we might get some kind of parallel around that. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But these are all speculations. I hope we get the Flashpoint Paradox. I hope we get a lot of nods to the comics. And I'm pretty sure we're going to because the, this team has been killing it. And I'm just excited for The Flash Season 3. And I love this Season 2 uh, the season two finale. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Don't get hit by lightning. That's not going to turn you into the superhero or The Flash. You're just going to die. Or go into a coma. A really long coma. And then die. Anyways, drop a comment. Let me know. What did you think about the the episode? What did you think about the season two as a whole? What do you think season three is going to offer? And remember, just because we are here, or in this case, me, because death is really lazy and doesn't like to do anything, just because I am here doesn't mean the end is near.